This may be hard to say, but I don't think DreamWorks may be the same ever again. It's said that the reason DreamWorks has been doing more spin-offs and sourcing out animations is because of DreamWorks being essentially bought out. As reported on October 6, 2023, Martin Brew said that DreamWorks Animation was moving away from producing films in-house at their Glendale campus to rely more heavily on outside studios after 2024 as part of a layoff in a series of meetings the previous month. Low morale was cited. According to the report, Tony Pitcher's Imageworks was named as the animation service for one of DreamWorks' two unannounced films, scheduled for 2025, one of the films being a sequel. The Wild Robot would be the final film to be animated entirely in-house at DreamWorks. As it was reported in October 2023, the studio would be shifting away from producing films in-house, relying more heavily on outside studios after 2024. I... I still have hope, but isn't this news just terrible? <laughs> Not only did we have all of everything that I've previously said throughout this entire video, however long this is, but the fact that it may continue even more. Before, it was just DreamWorks themselves to blame for what's happening, but now there's layoffs and being run by other companies all coming to a head with reportedly low morale. And the fact that the Wild Robot will be the last in-house DreamWorks movie is crazy. I'm going to be honest, with how the studio went after Puss in Boots, I believe that should have been their final film. It's just too poetic. Their first big film that found out what their studio would be would being the last film that they make. Being an artistic and beautiful film that can be judged and loved for generations. And the fact that the film is called The Last Wish. I mean, come on, you gotta admit that'd be cool. When I started making this big video, I thought... I just talk about the flaws of DreamWorks and their products and respond to people that downplay how disappointing the recent films have been. But now I see that this video is kind of more of my goodbye to their studio in a way. I love their films. I really do. Ever since I was a kid, I enjoyed them. I remember watching Shrek 2 while eating McDonald's, getting a Shrek Forever After toy at my grandma's house. Then as I grew up and watched more and more YouTubers like Strafeless talk in depth about these movies, I realized how much I enjoy these movies even more than just stuff I enjoyed as a kid. Like, there's some childhood movies I can watch that are just enjoyable, passable, but then there's DreamWorks, being enjoyable and deep with multiple layers of storytelling and morals all packed around incredible animation. Mega Mind, Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, all these franchises are very near and dear to my heart. So the fact that they can just throw these away to be bad or mediocre is why I started this whole DreamWorks problem video thing. But again, like I said, I still have hope. These film companies can get as bankrupt as they want with their ideas and always will hold hope that there will be a gem that washes up to a shore in their sea of actual garbage. Because if the same company that made the Emoji movie can later make Spider-Verse, and I believe that there could be something great from DreamWorks again. Just probably not likely <laughs> since, you know, literally this entire video. I guess that's really all I had to say. This really feels like the end, doesn't it? Feels kind of final. How can there be a section after that downer of one? Well, I think I have at least one more section I'd like to do. To line the mood and give you guys something that's hopefully pretty fun. I hope you enjoyed watching.